So the last time I flew in this area, I found some strange markings with stones laid out and some strange goings on that I couldn't quite figure out. So I'm going to fly again and this time I have the 360 degree camera attached to the drone so that it's not just me that's looking for something and if I miss something, maybe someone else can actually see what's going on, see what the weird and strange things are here by having a look all around yourself. And if we fly past something and you think, oh, what was that? You can spin round and have a look and see. So if you do see anything a bit strange, a bit unusual, leave a comment to let us know what you've seen and we'll try and do some further investigation. All right, here's a wee flight up then around this strange area. So the birds around this area do tend to act a little bit strangely as well. And this isn't because the drone's in the area, because I've got birds flying about here going a bit crazy. Quite a distance away from the drone and they don't even seem to have any interest in the drone whatsoever. But this is the area up here that last time I flew. There seemed to be some strange goings on. And it's a brighter day today, so I might get some more information. So here's a kind of brick thingy. Here's a first kind of slightly strange thing. I need to change the settings in this, this drone. They're, they're a wee bit wild. Right, so what did this used to be? Now for anyone who wants to do, oh there was a, that was a bird just shot past there, did you see that? Oh, aye, there are some birds there that are taking a bit, I'll just maybe go up a wee bit higher. Keep out the way of the birds. So, the area here is just right next to Cronbury in East Ayrshire. It's probably on the back road from Auchin Lake to Cronbury. So if you want to look it up, and this, this is also where I, in, in the region where I, I lost Lassie a couple of years back, she went down for some unexplained reason over this, this mossy area here. And I wandered out to recover her and almost died in the process. And I'll leave a link to that video in the description and I'll probably put a wee link at the end of this video to that as well. But I don't even know if it's a quarry of some kind. But one of the things that I did notice when I've flown here before, if I can find it again, is the the formation will maybe need to maybe need to go up quite a bit to, to try and find this, to try and locate the the formation of stones that I presume someone has 
has laid. It certainly looks like a man-made, a man-made uh, configuration to me, if I can find it. I know it's in the area somewhere. There we go, is it, is it there? Maybe it's, maybe it's gone away now and maybe it's not there anymore. It was a configuration of stones in the shape of a cross or an X. Now that seems to have, that seems to have gone, oh hold on a minute, no. It's just, it's not there now. Or at least if it is. Can't see it. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong place. But there was a configuration of rocks here that had to be man made. It couldn't be. It couldn't have been a natural occurrence. But unless I'm I'm looking in the wrong place, and maybe because I've got the 360 camera attached to the drone, you'll be able to spot this, this X, this configuration of rocks that I just can't seem to find now. The section of boggy land is called Airds Moss, A-I-R-D-S, Airds Moss, and it's a, it's a floating bog out there that I've actually walked across to retrieve Lassie. So I can't seem to locate those was stones that were here before. And this is the area that we're in. Oh, hey, there's the camera just popped up. That was quite interesting. Can't seem to see them now. Which could just mean that someone has has removed them, but these these were these were massive, massive boulders. Of course, using the machinery and the big diggers and things, it wouldn't be a problem to to move the stones. But they for sure don't seem to be there now. Okay, so nothing too strange going on today. But it is still a weird area. And that seems to be some of the stones just there. Those are very similar to the stones that were used in that strange configuration that I saw the last time I was flying here. Does that mean that they've been moved? There's more of them there. Have they been moved? Well, 
was not expecting that. That's a wee bit of a mystery as well. Why would those stones have been moved? Who put them there in the first place? And why has someone taken them away? And for those of you who lack big trucks and lack machinery, <laughs> I'll just do a pause the video for a second. Switch to the seven times zoom, and there we have a closer look at this wee diggity thing. <laughs> As you can see, I'm I'm well up on my uh, machinery. I know, I know, I know what all the machinery is. This diggery thing here. What is it? A bulldozery thing. So for the for those of you who are interested in stuff like that, and there must be a few of you because there are so many videos with millions of views of people going to industrial sites and <laughs> taking pictures of machinery like that, that you must find that kind of thing quite interesting. And there's another thing. That looks like a conveyor belt. So is this some kind of stone quarry? That's what it could be. Right, so we're pausing the video again for a second just to bring it back to the times one view. And there we go. So a terrific telephoto uh, times seven zoom lens camera on the Mavic 3, which I love. But there you go, those stones that were there. And I will link to the, the video where I flew over and saw the stones, because that's quite, quite strange that they've gone now. And I still don't know what this, this brickwork was from. I mean, obviously there must have been some kind of site here with, with some kind of building. So what I'll do is, I'll just have a wee, another wee pause in the video and I can zoom in again on the time seven. So there we go, so a wee bit of graffiti on it and I can zoom in even further. I can zoom it digitally as well. Is it this? Here we go. So we can zoom digitally. So, I red bricks. Must have been some kind of building or something before. Going back to the times one. And there you have it. So, it's a fairly unusual site because, well, is it? Is it an unusual site or am I just making a mountain out of a molehill? Because I haven't looked into it to see exactly what this site is, maybe. If I did, it would prove to be nothing out of the ordinary at all. So let's have a little zoom in on that part there as well. Right, so I don't know what that is. But if I wake around here... Might give us some more information. Right, for any architectural type of people out there or folk, that looks like it's maybe been some kind of bridge in the past or something. Well, I could be talking a load of nonsense. You know that, don't you? Or we zoom in here. Right, so for anybody who, who, who's got an idea what this may have been, or for any investigative type people who might want to have a look into it, and see what this area may have been in the past. I'd be quite interested in that. I mean, I could dig myself, but I'm too busy doing other things like capturing videos for you guys. <laughs> so maybe some of you could do the investigating to save me doing it. Right, okay. What's that thing there? What is that? Let's have a zoom in on that. What is that? Oh, I don't know what that is. Just a big round shaped kind of rock or something. Hmm, once again. 
Wat wilt? So let's have a a fly down here, and all that is is a a sign for the truck drivers or lorry drivers for us Brits to tell you which road to take. Strange that they're telling you to take the right road, right hand road instead of the left hand road. However, and that sign will just be a reverse of the one we saw. You can look at that in the 360 version of this video. Okay, so there is a car parked at the bottom here at the gate because I can see it with my eyes from where I'm standing. And it's a locked gate, so this obviously is some kind of some chap with a key or something to get in. I don't know if he's got anything to do with it or not. And as I come back, coming down to just 20% left in the battery. So, I was going to take a wee, a wee fly over to that piece of water just over to the, to the left there. But I'm going to get the low battery warning any second. So I think I may not do that. I may not bother with that. I'm not going to zoom in on that fella there. For privacy reasons. Right, 20% left in the battery, which means I've probably not got a lot of time to fly over that wee bit of, wee bit of water there. Can we just fly around it? There Aircraft we go. Will return to the home point in 10 seconds. Well, I'll just cancel that and I can make my own way back to the home point. There's that lily pads in there. Could be a few froggies if that is lily pads. Right, down to 16%, so let's 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 bring the Wallace home. Because I've already been out wandering about this area to bring Lassie back. I don't want to have to go and trog out again to bring the wallows back. So here he is. And there we have a absolutely low battery. So I won't spend any more time. I'll get him in and land him. Usual battle cry from Windswept Robert. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If you'd like me to look at some other places for you to have a look at, leave a comment to let me know where. Till next time, cheerio with the news.